But first, an early Christmas gift for Coloradans who drive I-25 through Douglas County to Colorado Springs. Yep, that busy stretch of interstate will soon be much easier and much safer to drive. Karen, you live down south. You know just how challenging that gap project area can be. And we reported on so many accidents mm -hmm. down there, too, right? It's certainly been a mess. Well, what's going to happen now? Those trips through the South Gap are about to get so much smoother. It's an early Christmas gift from CDOT and Governor Polis. They say construction, for the most part, will be completed before Christmas, and that's almost a year ahead of schedule. The South Cap project runs from Castle Rock through Monument. Drivers will soon see it expand from two lanes to three lanes almost overnight. Connor McHugh joins us live to explain this timetable, and Connor, drivers are certainly looking forward to this. Yeah, Karen, anyone who's driven this stretch of I-25 over the last three years knows it comes with plenty of frustrations from lane switches to lane closures and plenty of traffic jams. Soon, that could change. It could get easier and safer to make this commute, and drivers tell us they're ready. I would describe it as a nightmare. Traffic is terrible 24-7. After three years of lane shifts and traffic backups, the headaches caused by the South Gap project could soon be a thing of the past. We're just so proud to be On Monday, here. Governor Polis joined other state leaders, yes. announcing all lanes of I-25 between Castle Rock and Monument will open almost a year ahead of schedule. Uh, these life-saving, safety improvements will reduce traffic, and improve safety. This is a major victory for people across Colorado. Construction of the $419 million project began in September of 2018 as a way to ease congestion and reduce wrecks along the bottleneck stretch of highway. Since then, it added an express lane in each direction, widened shoulders, rebuilt bridges, and created wildlife crossings. 85,000 motorists travel the gap daily, and now they will have improved safety, and mobility. On Monday, leaders credited the collaboration between CDOT, the contractor, and local entities, as well as an aggressive project team and warm fall weather. It was not an easy feat, and it has been an all-hands-on-deck effort to adapt to constantly changing traffic, temperamental weather, response needs, and we're all the better for it. A three-year wait, drivers like Gene Kowalski hope pays off. Hopefully, it will resolve many accidents. And, and problems getting through that area. Now, while all of those lanes will be open by mid-December, there will still be work going on into next year, including paving, painting lanes, and landscaping around. So officials say people driving through here should be cautious and slow down, especially when crews are around. Another thing to note, drivers who do use that express lane for now will not be charged until next fall. In Douglas County, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.